So the breach of your system has actually created more business opportunities for you. For example, millions of people have signed up for the credit monitoring service that you announced after the breach. Equifax is offering one year of free credit monitoring, but consumers who want to continue that protection after the first year will have to pay for it, won't they, Mr. Smith? Uh, Senator, the best thing a consumer can do is get the lifetime I, lock. I'm asking you the question. You're offering free credit monitoring, which you say is worth something, and you're offering it for only one year. If consumers want it for more than one year, they have to pay for it. Is that right? Yes, Senator. It but the most, the best thing a consumer can do is the locked product. Okay, but they're monitoring. going to have to pay after one year if they want your credit monitoring. And that could be a lot of money. Uh, so far, 7.5 million people have signed up for free credit monitoring through Equifax since the breach. If just 1 million of them buy just one more year of monitoring through Equifax at the standard rate of $17 a month, that's more than $200 million in revenue for Equifax because of this breach. But there's more. LifeLock, another company that sells credit monitoring, has now seen a tenfold increase in enrollment since Equifax announced the breach. According to filings with the SEC, LifeLock purchases credit monitoring services from Equifax. And that means someone buys credit monitoring through LifeLock. LifeLock turns around and passes some of that revenue directly along to Equifax. Is that right, Mr. Smith? That is correct. That's correct. Okay. Um, so from the second Equifax announced this massive data breach, Equifax has been making money off consumers who purchase their credit monitoring through LifeLock. 